What's up guys, welcome back. I'm Steve and this is a social cut. Thanks for watching guys. And as you can tell, growing back my facial hair. Couldn't stand be without any facial hair. And uh, trying something a little different. But uh, anyways, let's get uh, back to business here. So today I'm gonna be talking about tips on getting your first tattoo and not regretting it. Super excited because today I'm gonna to actually get tatted up. Gonna do something on my forearm. And I know some of you guys don't have any tattoos. Uh, thinking about getting the first tattoo. I already have tattoos and I want to get some more tattoos. Um, and you know, today everyone gets tattoos. They're pretty common. But uh, I'm going to share some tips and uh, let you guys know how to take care of these tattoos. And make sure you guys don't regret it at the end of the day. And that way you guys will be happy with them um, for your entire life once you guys get tatted up. So let's get started. Alright guys, so the first tip and probably the most important tip is you guys have to make sure to do your research. You want to do your research on the type of tattoo you want to get, the design, uh, the tattoo shop, and of course the tattoo artist. And that's the first tip is to do your research because you don't want to regret it. It's all fun if uh, you know you guys are spontaneous, you guys are out partying and late night, and you guys want to get tat some tattoos. You know that's all good. But remember, there's a big chance that later on you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be like, dude, what the hell did I get on my arm or my back or whatever it is. So you want to make sure to do some research on the design you want to get. For example, I've been thinking of getting the tattoo, and I'm actually getting one today. I'm gonna to get it on my forearm, and it's in honor of my mom who passed away a few years ago. And it's just I, I've done so much research, and I thought about it so much, and I, and I just didn't know what to get, and I finally decided what I want to get, and I share that with you guys later on. And the second thing is uh, again the um, tattoo shop. What type of tattoo shop you guys can go to? Uh, make sure you guys look them up online, Yelp reviews, all that good stuff, and definitely do your research on the tattoo artists. You know, with social media, you guys can find them on Instagram, Twitter, and you know, pretty much anything uh, on social media. So you want to make sure you check out the work, especially because tattoo artists uh, also specialize uh, in specific designs. So you want to make sure the type of design you want to get that that uh, tattoo artist specializes in that type of uh, art. And, um, and, and you guys will be all set. So now that you've done your research, next tip, ask questions. You wanna make sure to ask any questions you have to your tattoo artist. And if you see the guy is getting bothered or being annoyed, that's not the tattoo artist you guys wanna go with. He should be more than happy to ask, answer any questions you have or concerns you have. You wanna make sure to find out the pricing, uh, how long it's gonna take, and again, any other concerns you guys have, they'll be more than happy to answer your questions. And that's how you know that's the right guy. Next step, tattoo placement. You guys gotta know where you guys want the tattoo. A uh, good thing for you guys to consider is the type of work you do. You know, if, you, if you're in a corporate environment, uh, obviously you don't wanna get any visible tattoos on your face, neck, or hands. And if you work somewhere more uh, casual, you know, where they don't mind you having tattoos, then feel free to get it anywhere you want. But remember, it's your first tattoo, so you may want to start small, try somewhere where it's not visible, and that way you get a feel for it. And, uh, and if you like it, get some more. Next tip, fellas, pricing. So make sure you guys know your pricing, get quotes from different tattoo artists, and this is definitely something you don't want to skimp on. If you know me, I'm always balling on a budget, I'm looking for a great sale, but for your first tattoo, or any tattoo, don't skimp on this. You want to make sure to go uh, with the best artist, base your decision on his skills and the design you want to get. So again, don't be cheap on this. Now we're going to make sure you'll never regret your first tattoo. All right, fellas. So those are some tips you should know before getting your first tattoo and of course not regretting it. As for me, ready to get tattooed up. I'm about to get a tattoo here on my forearm. Uh, I'm going to get a tattoo of a Roman statue of an angel holding a cross uh, in honor of my mom. Did my research. Checked out uh, tattoo artists here in the area, went to my first tattoo artist and uh, got pricing. Looked at all the work online, uh, their Instagram, and of course checked them out uh, on Yelp. And decided to go with my original uh, tattoo artist. And he actually specializes in uh, these type of tattoos. So he's awesome, gonna go check him out. And when I get back, I'm gonna share with you tattoo I got done and give you some more tips on aftercare. You guys ready? Let's go get a tattoo. What's up with us? All right, ready to get tatted up. I'm here at Breakthrough Tattoo. Gonna see my boy Gabe. Let's go check it out.
Yeah, but you record. So, end of the night. Are you in pain? No. No, he took it like a champ. See? After a shot. Alright, guys, we're back. Check it out. Finally got the tattoo I always wanted. So, hopefully, you guys go out and get your first tattoo. But there are some aftercare items you need to go and grab and things you need to know to make sure to take care of your tattoo. The last thing you want to do is not have it heal correctly. So let's go over the first thing you want to go and get is the baby hair and body wash. So this is baby body wash. Uh, the reason why you want this is because it's not as harsh as other soaps. Because if you use any other soap, it can irritate it and this is pretty smooth and doesn't irritate uh, your skin. So make sure you guys go grab baby body wash. Now let's go on with the next item is Aquaphor. So you want to use this, this is ointment and you want to use it uh, because if you use Neosporin again it's pretty harsh and it's strong and it might irritate your tattoo. So make sure you guys get Aquaphor and the next thing you want is lotion, non-scented lotion because again this is uh, it, it doesn't irritate your skin like other lotions so these are all very sensitive to the skin so these are the three items you want so the first thing you want to do is when you do wash it you want to make sure you wash your uh, tattoo twice a day uh, with the baby body wash and make sure when you do wash it don't spray the water directly on your tattoo because that can irritate it and that's not good so twice a day use the uh, baby body wash and every time you wash your tattoo that's when you use the aquaphor here we go with the aquaphor but this aquaphor here you only use it for the next two days and you need to uh, only apply it once a day. Uh, after the two days, um, you want to use the unscented lotion. So you continue washing your tattoo for a week or two with the uh, baby body wash. And uh, every time you wash it, after the two days, you use aqua four. Make sure you apply the unscented lotion. Pretty easy, guys. And you're good to go. And that way, you make sure your tattoo heals correctly. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thanks for following me along to get my tattoo that I wanted. And now hopefully I encourage you guys to get the tattoo that you guys always wanted. And as always, make sure you guys follow me on social media for more men's screaming tips and fashion advice. You guys can check out my daily outfit of the day at The Social Cut. And any tips or questions you guys have, make sure you guys send them to Steve at thesocialcut.com. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, rate it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right guys, that's it for today and I'll see you next time. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs>